So yesterday we discussed creative thinking because without thinking we cannot write creatively. Now for creative thinking, today's lecture is about how uh, to use some sort of how to use our creative thinking and what are the tools which uh, we might be able to use in order to think creatively. Okay. So in next slides there are some tools and techniques which are described and by following those tools we can enhance or unleash our creative thinking basically there are six factors or you can say tools or techniques by which we can use our brain in order to program our brain just to learn some sort of uh, technical or creative thinking the first one is six hats technique so six head techniques was basically introduced by Dr. Edward de Bono. Anyone of you who has ever heard about him? No one? By the way, he was invited by your ex-prime minister. Do you know who was the prime minister? Oh, yeah. This uh, person, Edward de Bono, is a great uh, speaker, a motivational speaker, you can call him. And he, is, he basically was invited by one of your president in order to learn some sort of creativity. Do you know who, was, who the president was? No? Okay, by the way, he was Asif Ali Zardari. And he learned so much creativity that he is a very creative person. So basically, six hat techniques is all about uh, the thinking patterns. Rather, you may say thinking attitudes towards uh, issue or something. So basically, we were talking about six hat technique. Six hat technique is all about six thinking patterns. Um, six attitudes towards problems by adopting these attitudes or by training our brain in such a way we can cope up with this um, issue or the situation the first of all we have the first hat is white hat technique so basically this is a thinking hat which actually focuses on the available data whatever data is available to you that only focuses on the uh, limited sources you can say and within the limited sources how we can mold our thinking pattern and how we could become more problem solving rather it analyze the past trends and see what you can learn from it like, depending upon the prior experience taking the steps towards your future is all about white hat technique that learning from your experience second is red hat technique and red hat technique is wearing the red hat like uh, you are looking towards the problem by using your intuition now, what is intuition? Anybody of you know who could tell me? Is there someone who know what intuition is? Basically, in sort of inner feelings, spontaneous exactly. inner feelings, which are mostly true. Don't having don't having physical evidence, but they are objective. Instinct, like exactly that is what I was supposed to say. Instinct, basic instincts, Like um, this is supposed to be happen. Yeah, you can say uh, some sort of sixth sense. By the way, intuition is different from sixth sense because sixth sense is something which is depending upon all your five senses. You can mention sixth sense in white hat technique because in white hat technique, you are supposed to use your past experience in order to make further decisions. But intuition is something without any reason, without anything. You can, um, you can get a hint or you can get an idea that if I'm going to do this, it might not work in a possible way. So this is what intuition is and red hat technique is all about intuition guesses and like um, how you think others could react emotionally if you have introduced an idea you would be thinking that what would be the reaction of people definitely you don't have any experience of the same criteria on the same parameters that how people will react to that situation so what you will do you will only um, take a guess you will only make a guess about red hat in red hat technique you will only make the guess that how people will react to the situation next is black hat and the black hat technique is about using um, decision uh, potentially negative outcomes like looking at the negativity if you have decided something that this is going to happen instead of thinking about it it might make people happy everybody will appreciate the idea instead of looking at the pawns you will look at the cons of that pros and cons the two things so instead of looking at the pros you will focus on the cons that what negativity will come out of this so uh, you try to understand the response of the people who don't uh, actually know your reasonings you do have your own reasons for taking any step or making any kind of decisions and only you know your reasons people might think that it 
everything is negative so this is what black hat technique focusing on the negativity that what will be uh, what will be the outcome if uh, if or will and the plan or the resistance will be the, will be in the negative side or what the next is uh, excuse me ma'am sure uh, yeah I, I just want to ask that you said that black hat is all about the negativity so uh, is it all the time that we are looking at the negative side of uh, is, thing like uh, our, okay. we can say that we can use the word critical for this uh, wouldn't that be appropriate like being negative uh, uh, all the time uh, it means that some person is intentionally being negative about something but if we say that okay if some person is being critical so what what do you suggest negative or critical which term would be appropriate basically these seven, uh, six head technique is from the book edward de bono he uses this terminology and being critical is something different and being negative means uh, it is a common saying that uh, wish for the best but expect the worst so this is all about that you are expecting you are not expecting the best but you are actually focusing that it might not turn out as expected or people might might not like it it basically describes that you have your own reasons of doing something very much positive and you know what you are doing you do have positive reasons about that but if people might not like that idea idea what you will do in that condition it is still focusing on the positive thing that you are supposed to defend your ideas and your thoughts with the proper reasons and you will support your uh, reasons with the proper stance but it is just that how you will actually convince the people it is all about that if people might not like it what you will be doing in that case so it is all about that clear is it clear i'm, I'm just confused uh, i'm just confused at one thing because what i uh, like got about uh, mr de bono like he usually says that okay look at the decisions potentially negative outcomes don't look a thing uh, with a negative eye but look at the negative outcomes of uh, like uh, of a decision so exactly i'm i'm, this, I'm a bit this was confused my point okay look at the negative outcome what if people not obviously if i have done something i have my own reason if i think that i have done right that is right for me but that night that might not be right for the next person so this is what the negative outcome is okay okay so uh, in uh, in fact what uh, i'm getting as you are saying that it highlights the weak points in a plan so it, it, it in other it, ways in, in allows it allows you to eliminate them or alter them or prepare uh, what kind of contingency plan exactly what kind of reactions you would be getting okay 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 thank you you're most welcome Did so next continue? we have next we have is yellow hat technique it is basically the optimistic viewpoint that helps you to see all the benefits of the decision and value it if you have taken any decision and you are very much optimistic about it then you will only see the benefits out of that decision it actually somehow uh, positively reinforces people to keep going instead of uh, stopping again and again and rethink over the same issue it actually pushes you or rather motivates you to keep going whatever you are doing try to try to remain positive and try to expect the positive outcome out of that so it is all about the positivity everywhere like if you have taken a decision and you are over that decision you will never think at any point in time that it might turn out Uh, to be negative or something because you are optimistic and you are focusing on the positive outcomes the uh, way previously we have discussed the negative outcomes here we are supposed to focus our own um, selves rather our conscious and subconscious brain both on the positive outcome like being wholly and solely opt optimistic next technique is a green hat technique and this technique basically represent the creativity like uh, you may explore a range of creative tools which actually are helpful for your own self if you think that if you um, you are lacking somewhere you may put any other technique or you may indulge any other technique into the previous one you you have a free head of going anywhere where you want to so this is all about green hat technique and the next is blue hat technique this represents the process control for example when uh, you are facing some sort of difficulties or uh, some sort of uh, dry patch or rough patch in your way because your ideas are drained or you may not directly active into this technique so this is all about um, 
focusing on the self control rather uh, putting yourself in such a position that if it is not working today then i might not try today i might try tomorrow or some other day for the same thing like it might not be the best working day for me so not giving up what you what the decisions have you taken but actually putting yourself at such a position where it's okay if it is not it's not working today it might work tomorrow so if there is any difficulty in this slide you may ask so the next we have is mind mapping my mapping is if there is anyone uh, who knows about it anything you may share your views no matter it's right or wrong but you something it. before going to construct a building we need to sketch the you know complete structure of a building so my map mind mapping is something like that that if you are going to write something and you have to draw these things i i am going to include in my writing for example if you uh, have selected a topic so all the ideas you are collecting to write in that particular piece is deal with the, this phenomena mind mind mapping exactly basically it's a gra graphical way to present ideas and concept um, like engineers do they first of all map the things out that this is going to happen further like civil engineers do so the same criteria is applied to first of all mind mapping either you are supposed to take any decision supposed to do any creative work first of all you think you imagine the same thing which we have discussed priorly in our yesterday's lecture the graphical ways of discussing or putting your ideas and mapping usage of actually organize the idea and concept now if there is a concept of any painting or anything if it is not about writing currently we are discussing about creative thinking is which is important in order to write creatively so uh, using diagrams or using anything which actually portrays your imagination towards something which you actually want to do it is all about mind mapping you are actually mapping out your mind your imagination your thoughts your concepts and your ideas onto the paper or anywhere or any software just in order to be clear that this is what the exact picture which you want so that it might get concrete and your subconscious brain accepts that thing this is the basic concept of mind mapping that whatever you are trying or whatever is there in within your brain you need to put that thing in front of audience clear yes ma'am kindly raise your hand if there is anyone jisko topic ki samajh nahi aa rahi ho kindly raise your hands ikra are you getting uh, yeah ma'am मैम मुझे समझ आ रही है लेकिन मैं अगर आपको इस तरह से पूछ कर लूँ तो जैसे बिफोर पुटिंग समथिंग तो वी कैन पुट सम इंग्रेडिएंट्स राइट सच एज अगर हम माइंड मैपिंग करें या किसी एस्से को लिखने के लिए शुरू करें तो जितने भी हमारे माइंड में जो भी चीज़ें हैं उस एस्से या उस पैराग्राफ से रिलेटेड तो हम उसको कुछ भी कैदर करते हैं सबसे पहले उसके बाद उसकी आउटलाइन बनाते हैं फिर पैराग्राफ वन टू थ्री जो उसकी बॉडी होती है पहले इंट्रोडक्शन फिर बॉडी फिर कॉन्क्लूजन तो इस हिसाब में हम उसके इंग्रेडिएंट्स जमा करते हैं उसे माइंड मैपिंग कहते हैं मेरे हिसाब से बिल्कुल आप सही कह रही हैं जस्ट गिविंग अ वेंटिलेशन टू योर थॉट्स इज माइंड मैपिंग इधर यू आर राइटिंग जिस तरह आप लोग बचपन में पैराग्राफ्स या ऐसे लिखते थे सबसे पहले उसके पॉइंट्स बनाते थे सो दैट पॉइंटिंग आउट द फैक्टर्स व्हिच यू विल बी डिस्कसिंग या आप में से जो भी यूनिवर्सिटीज वगैरह में होंगे प्रेजेंटेशन से पहले टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट नाम की चीज होती है दैट टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट इज व्हाट दैट व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्दर इन योर प्रेजेंटेशन एंड दैट इज ऑल अबाउट माइंड मैपिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाटएवर थिंग्स यू विल बी राइटिंग डाउन इन योर रिसर्च और इन योर डायरी in the form of poetry and anywhere first of all you write it down in a scratch form and that scratch form is mind mapping that tells you that i need to stick to these things or these points only that is mind mapping basically is that clear yes ma'am all right so next we have the checklist basically the checklist technique was introduced by a person alex osborn and he was known as the father of brainstorming brainstorming pata hai waise kya hoti hai i think sabko hi pata hoga abhi tak Yeah. All right. So, um, basically, in his book Applied Imagination, he uh, highlight. G G G. Brain brainstorming. Go. थोड़ा सा define करते हैं. अच्छा. Brainstorming का मतलब ये होता है कि if somebody has uh, said any word, और उस word से आपके mind में कोई भी idea आता है, that is brainstorming. 
there is a technique teaching technique as well known as brainstorming when the teacher comes and start instead of starting the lecture right from the sketch the way i i ask from you people ki do you know something about it aur uske baad aapki discussion ke beech mein se lecture start hota so this is what brainstorming is first of all getting what uh, ideas do you people have this is what brainstorming to make you people think this is brainstorming ji ikra मैम प्रीवियस नॉलेज से न्यू नॉलेज को रिलेट करना उसको कनेक्ट करना ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग में रहता है इट इज सम हाउ कह सकते हैं ये भी हो सकता है बट ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग इज नॉट बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रायर नॉलेज क्योंकि जरूरी नहीं कि आपका प्रायर नॉलेज और मेरा प्रायर नॉलेज सेम हो सकता है कि मेरे किसी भी वर्ड से आपके माइंड में कोई भी नई बात आ जाए या कोई भी नया आइडिया आ जाए किसी भी चीज से रिलेटेड सो दैट इज ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग like if uh, if i have said any word or if i have discussed any topic or any idea and that word idea or concept triggered in your brain and it created another concept that is what brain is storming okay clear okay yes madam okay so let's move further